Hey, Turtle Club guys, good morning. It is, um, well, it's a little bit after 3 a.m. We got here a little late, and that's mainly because we're, uh, we're, we're you know, we always got to set up for it. Um, let's see here. Oh, we have a couple of people that popped in pre-stream. Uh, Shadow, Super Saiyan God Broly, uh, Drew Benson, uh, now Andrew Benson looks like. And, um, boy howdy, we have so many things in our skin. Um, let's, let's just drop all these. Alright, so, I am trying to remember where we were in the grand scheme of things. We were repairing Geely outfits, that's what we was doing. Hey, Triangle, how's it going? So let's go ahead and open this up, maybe. Alright. And these get repaired in our, we need fiber. I think we have enough fiber to repair all of it though. Wow. Alrighty. Oh, and the gamma settings from when we were constructing on the other server, we got to reset them. All right. Uh, holy mother of all skins. That, that's, that's the skins I get, Gig, when I die, man. When I get, when I die, that's, that's it. <laughs> so far at least. All right. And we hear the wolf owl from the background. Alrighty, we are getting there though. We are looking at. Oh, we just had some berries spoiled too. Might as well eat these because they're not going to do anything for us. We're looking at actually going for a, a couple of tames that we haven't tamed yet. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm. Let me pull up the log to see where what really happened last time. I died, we tamed a Tappy, an Aloe, an Aloe, a Packy, a Pteranodon, a Morphodon, a Packy. That's right, we tamed a whole lot of stuff. We even tamed a Rex, and it wound up dying to a whole entire group of uh, Trudons, which was fun. Um, oh, YouTube, why, why do you got to be like that and put me on top chat? We don't want to see just the top chatters, we want to see everybody. And of course, I am once again the king of no pants because my pants always get damaged in these games. I don't know what causes that. Uh, we have us a saber tooth saddle. Most likely got that from a drop. Blown away how far you are and possibly how much more this game offers. Uh, yeah, Andrew, it is. We have just scratched the surface on this game, really. I, I was doing a, a figuring on it, and I think we've tamed maybe on just this map alone. We may have like 40% of the possible dinos discovered and tamed. So we have quite a ways to go. <laughs> Welcome to the King of No Pants Club. <laughs> oh, I, uh, oh, giggity. You, you uh, eventually will get your pants. I just don't know what happens to mine half the time. I really don't. All right, so we got this forge going so we can get some metal cooked up. Put that there. Awesome. All right, we're no longer over encumbered. Excellent. Let's see. I know we tamed this Tappy and flew it all the way over here. Um, don't disappear on me, Tappy. Alright, so... We don't have a Tappy saddle. I know we can make them, though, right? Oh, we have to craft it in the smithy, though. Um, are we stuck? Are we stuck on the Tappy? Oh, no, we're stuck on the Tappy. Okay. So, we're stuck on the tappy. We clearly are... We're doing the floaty thing, right? So, in the past, this would have basically just completely done us in. We would have starved to death. A lot of things would have happened because we wouldn't have been able to... Or we would have had to toll the, the tappy to uh, do something else. But I figured out something finally, guys. Order groups. So, if we'll tell it to add the tame group B. So, now this is part of tame group B. Or 8, not B. We're going to tell it to do tame ordering group 8. So now we can tell it just to walk over there. And only it. So you'll notice all of our stuff still stayed put. We didn't get that horrible thing that we usually got where they just all decided to go wherever they want. If we hit 8 again, it goes back to tame ordering group. None. Um, cell birds. <laughs> That's cool. Um, so that basically um, is how the, the ordering groups work. Let's uh, get our water here. Let's see what kind of saddle we can make for this wonderful tappy. TA. 
All right, it needs a lot of fiber, a lot of metal ingots, a lot of wood, things that we don't have for it right now. And I have a sword. Oh, that's right, I was getting organic polymer to repair my Geely suit. And I got most of my Geely repaired, but I need fiber. And is this my Geely hat? Yeah, this is my Geely hat. So we need lots of fiber. So what we need to do is we need to find out where I parked my flying mount. Because it's definitely not here. Oh, I, here's a pair of pants I can put on. Let's just put them on. Still, and I can guess I'll put that helmet on for right now. So we can look kind of goofy, but it'll work. Oh, I need to make sure that my, my FPS is capped at 60. That's something that I discovered, guys. It, it makes a, a smoother view on everybody's side of things if I cap it at 60 and it prevents my computer from doing some crashing stuff so it's good oh we don't even have a, an RG saddle okay I think I got extras back at the base but and Gidget of course she ain't gonna be able to carry me bless her heart she's itty bitty so there, there's got to be another flyer around here that I've forgotten about so let's climb down this ladder and see what we got metal should be easy fiber can be easy as well Oh, well, I'm not even worried about that. I mean, I'm, I'm even like six or seven you know, on the fiber side gig, so it, there's nothing wrong there. It's, it's just a question of getting down here and then getting back up. Because I, I, clearly I got up here somehow. Terrence, Akaru, Shep, Megaloceros. Oh, poor Megaloceros doesn't have a name yet. So... Oh, it must have, whoops. It must have been Fisher that I flew over here on. So we are going to have to take Terry and take her little stubby little arms and giant head and walk her back up here. But it's something I've been looking forward to doing for a while, guys, and we haven't we haven't managed to do so yet. But I plan on... Oh, no, we don't have Terry here anymore. Because we took her over to, to produce little Terry's. So we have to hope that we have a wreck saddle over here. I don't think we do. We may be stuck. We may have no way of getting back up. All right, Terrence. Tell me you're saddled, buddy. Show me some leather strapping. Oh, no. Okay. All right, so hopefully... The Megaloceros without a name will be able to get us up here because they they do you know jump so that, that you know that's a, a possibility we might have trapped ourselves we may have to we may have to build us a whole entire another uh, like micro base down here guys oh 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 okay awesome all right so the Megaloceros can do some mountain climbing that's good to know. All right, so now we just got to take him down and get some fiber. And there will be a, a few moments, guys, while I'm playing this where I'll be like, what? And it's because I'm playing on a modded server. And the modded server, you just get used to some of the things that we do. Now, one of the things that we do on our solo play, of course, is we want to make sure that the game that we show off when we're doing our solo play is what you can expect to get if you buy the game, download it today off of Steam, or if you install it off of a disc, if you buy it at a computer store or at a you know a department store, um, and you get home, you get all that set up, and then you're like, well, let's go play what Mag's playing, and lo and behold, you don't get the same game experience. Um, and we feel like that's just a, a bad kind of experience for anybody. And so we try to... Uh, yeah, we do have the Gravestone mod, and we do have some settings that are adjusted. And Digrat was just chiming in there. And we have those just to kind of facilitate the, the viewing experience a little bit. Because uh, otherwise, if we didn't have the Gravestone mod, every time I died, the next 45 minutes to an hour would be me trying to get my stuff back and, and maybe failing miserably at it. And no one wants to see all of that just get derailed, um, at least from prior stream series that I've done on this game. 
and asking people what they didn't care about. And they're like, I don't, you know, I, I, we like to watch you wipe out, but <laughs> no one really cares to watch you do nothing for the, you know, the next 45 minutes to an hour afterwards. All right, so we got the Geely outfit repaired. So that's going to help us with taming. Uh, oh, almost. Let's get our head. We got to get our head repaired too. Uh, right over here, repair that one. So that's where we got all that organic polymer the other day. And because we don't want Digrat to, to beat us up, we're not going to mention where that came from. Alright, so there's our axe. We need to repair our tools and our weapons if we can. Alright, we need wood for that. Okay, we need to see what we can do to make us an Argentavi saddle. Where is it? Right here. So we need the Chitin Keratin, which we're lacking, actually. And we need the Hide, which we might have. Uh, no, thank you, Digrat, but I appreciate you uh, checking on me. Okay. I will probably have me a turkey sandwich after stream. All right, so... What do I need... I need Triton Keratin, Fiber, and Hide to get out of here. Um, what do I need for the Tappy Saddle, though? I need far less for the Tappy Saddle. Did you hear Sandwich? Yeah. Yes, Giggity. Dig Rat, uh, for my lunches this week, is making some, some turkey curry. But it, you know, it started off with a full turkey. And we don't need quite that much meat. So, all right. So we definitely have something to get fiber with, I'm sure. And we have the mammoth. So, yeah, the tappy saddle is going to be our best way to get out of here. So so we can get on to what we're wanting to do today. And let's get some, some water tames done. And if you dismount on your way down off of the... the the dino and hit the ground from a short distance it'll do far less damage to you that's the reason why we jump like that oh we have we have fiber we have wood okay how how bad am i encumbered i am badly encumbered hmm i only need 120 wood How badly am I still encumbered? Not too horribly. So let's split that in half again. And the fiber, let's let's check the Tappy Saddle. Uh, Tapajara Saddle takes 180 fiber. Okay, so uh, we're just going to go over the Megaloceros and hopefully, yep, yeah, here we go. This noble stag of a creature that we have. Making its way up here. Making its way upstairs. Come on. Come on. Oh, now, now that I've put on a little weight, he doesn't want to take me up here. What kind of noise is that? Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. So... One of the things I was mentioning is there is a mod that we do have on our server, and it's called S+. And it does a lot of really cool stuff. The most convenient piece of it that I've discovered is you can just take all your materials that you want to use and just teleport them magically. Got something you want in your inventory, boom, it's in your inventory. Ah. Uh, you, know, you get you got all this other stuff. Boom! You got all this other stuff. Oh, uh, do we have enough wood to repair that? We sure do. And what about a boomstick? Uh, we need metal ingots for the boomstick. So let's grab the saddle. Let's put our pick there. So got 1,400 metal. Oh, okay. I appreciate that gig. I appreciate that, man. All right. So we got a little bit more metal cooking that as as long as we can all 
And let's see here. We got that full. That's going to eventually make jerky for us. It'll take a while. All right, so let's see here. We got this gun, excellent. We got our hatchet. We can put our billy club away. Uh, we didn't notice the sword giving us more polymer. It looked like the club gave us a lot more polymer. So we're not too worried about that. All right, so all of this here, eventually we'll be transporting all of this back with us to the other base. But for right now, we just need our clothing, our gun, because that's an important tool for us. And here, oh, there's, there is one other modder that we have on this game I've forgotten, guys. And that is the Dino Tracker mod, and that's only to help speed up streams where we're trying to hunt certain dinos. Alrighty, and so that's full of all the berries and the meat we got. Good night, Digrat. All right, so let's get this guy saddled. And we're going to up his stamina, because stamina is important on these guys. Now, tappies are not meant for combat. They are meant for uh, prettiness. I mean, look at this one. I love the coloration on this guy. And now we're just going to fly to our main base. Because we're going to have to do some cooking. Hey, Tappy leveled up again. Excellent. Let's go and get some stamina on it. Now, where are we? we're used to flying on an Argentavis. Um, I don't remember why. Let's, uh, let's find our dinos. We have Agrajag, 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 Argentavis. So where is that Argentavis? That's the one. Okay, so I have no clue what that is. That one's that way, so that's to our base. So the one actually named Argentavis, we, we probably need to go find. Uh, level 9 is back at the base, which is good. Um, yes, on this, on this particular game, we speed up the team speed as well. Again, we usually reference those things when they become relevant. But since it's been a while since we've been on here, we definitely want to kind of go over that again. All right, so the Argentavis, um, let's go find out where this guy is. So the, the Dino Tracker mod is really good for those of us who are very, yeah, I have no clue where this guy's going to wind up at. Holy snikes. Now, oh, we're about out of stamina already. This is not good. Oh, that is, that is an Ichthyornis. Those things steal stuff. They're not good. There's another Tappy. You can see it right there. Oh, there's a Raptor. We are away from the Raptor. Of course, correct. So the one thing about the Dino Tracker is when you have the, the Tracker out, you can, you can actually see it in my hand. And it's... I call it texting while driving, basically, because it's a little cell phone in the hand, and it's it kind of you know mimics that you shouldn't be texting while driving in real life, because it, my right click, which should allow me to pick up dinos, replaces this arrow. My left click brings up the interface. So if we're trying to run away from stuff or, or be sneaky or any number of things that you'd rather be. We're just not going to get it here. Oh, and I have no food to eat. Let's, let's make sure that we don't have that become a problem later. Okay. And it doesn't put a handy dandy little dot on the map anywhere. It just says, this way to a dinosaur. So we're going to find out where this guy is parked at. Um, oh, I'm freezing. I don't know why I'm freezing. Look at that. It went from 4 degrees to 76 degrees. That, that is, that's some crazy arc weather right there, guys. 
But the goal today is we're, we're going to actually make some kibble, finally. And we're going to make some dodo kibble, because we have quite a lot of dodo eggs. I'm pretty certain we have everything else that we need for the recipe. Uh, we've not cooked any kibble on stream before. Uh, we do have two methods to cook. One is the industrial cooker, uh, which we'll use to make about probably nine dodo kibble. And I think that we have a cooking pot. Oh, wow, it's just a beam of light. You can see the beam of light now. And the beam of light is going to dot the dino. And I am in... I have no clue where this Argent is. All right. So, uh... Well, now, that is, that is, that's very impressive. It's, uh, no telling how long it's been sitting here. We're going to gently land. If anything were really aggressive here, that armadillo would be getting whacked on, so we're good there. And not so wild, Argentavius appeared. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He has no food, so let's let's give him like half the stack. And that's the one thing about the dinos. That's what a giga sometimes spawns there. Well, the gigas, ah, I ain't worried about no gigas, mainly because I okay. We can stop tracking the Argentavis now. All right, so we need to fly where we need to fly to. All right. Got to love that. Not sure what that is. We'll let that pretend to be something that we care about over there. Hey, McAdoo, how's it going? All right. The Giga nearly killed... St yeah, yeah. Uh, so the, the thing with Gigas, right? On any server, if you guys are, are thinking about taming a Giga, I, I want to make sure you guys know about certain mechanics in the game. And I, I've looked at quite a few, and there are some... I'm doing good, McAdoo. Thank you for asking. There are some dinosaurs that are considered uh, privileged, I guess would be a best way to say it. And they, instead of having a shared spawn holder, meaning um, you, you tame one, you get the other one, you tame another one, and then you get like a, like the, the Dicarises and stuff like that. Um, and that is that the Gigasaurus is, is not like that. You kill a Giga... You don't magically no longer have a Giga there, and you wind up getting uh, something else afterwards. Um, okay. I recognize this. This is our little way station. It's been a while since I've been here for that. A little thing built out of thatch. We thought it was going to save our dinos. That was way, way far away in our, our, our past. Uh, we haven't had that happen in a very long time. All right. Uh, I suggest you don't go into that cave. Snakes, bats. We've been in that cave before, Kiggity. Uh, that's where we lost Agro Jack. Oh. No, 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 no. Come on, RG, up here. Look at it, guys. Doing a little dance. We'll let it do a dance. Oh, is that a is that a pack of aloes? Huh. I guess it's another aloe. It sure is. Okay. Well, we already got the two aloes we need. Uh, oh, clever one. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're gonna have to do artifact hunting uh, on several streams. 
But yeah, we've been in there before. Um, we lost Aggro Jack. If we go in there with full Geely and Bug Spray on, I think we can go in there and, and get it without encountering a single Dino that we have to fight. The Artifact of the Clever is supposed to be a very non-combat oriented artifact. And while we're here, we probably need to stop and check in on our sap production. There's so many things on this particular game that I am not even sure of anymore because we had we had the, the problem with the the backup. You know, we, we had the main game, it was great, and we had played so far ahead on the main game that we just lost some stuff. Alright. Oh, Pego. You don't want to mess with me. Squirrel Hunter will kill you. There's Squirrel Hunter. He's our, he's our Rex. Hey, Jesse Skillen. How's it going? Except for Sarkos and Piranhas. Um, yeah, but I, I think if we had a, a minor flying mount with us, we'd still be okay. So here's Tamar. So here's our other Tapijara. Tamar was left behind. Alright. All we have over here is this generator, which has a little bit of gas in it still, so that's not too bad. How are you doing on food? Oh, Tamar. Tamar, you're not eating right. Oh, uh, okay. So we're going to have to... Where's our ladder at? Because I know we have a ladder here. Here's our ladder. Come on, squirrel hunter. Over this way. We're going to show everybody our trick again. That's what we're going to do. All right, so we're going to go and... We're, now that we actually have this option here, we're going to go modify order in groups, add a creature group. We're going to put him on three. Not that it really matters, but... All right, we need Squirrel Hunter to do as we say and go, like, right there. One squirrel hunter. All right. Okay, so no one's following tomorrow. So let's go and park him there. Whistle right there. Because we don't have a wreck saddle. We don't have enough to make a wreck saddle. We are definitely out of materials for a wreck saddle. Well, actually, you know what? Come to think it, we're not going to be able to do what we want to do. We want to take the... We, we need a wreck saddle over here so we can get these guys some food. But we're not going to be able to do that. So, we're going to take... I don't like taking all their food, but I do know we have more food back at the base. Bit. We we have to be able to have this these tappy survive. All right, so let's go ahead and take you back. All right, everybody back. Mind wipe tonic win. What? Are you talking about my personal mind wipe tonic for for this character? Um, I I don't plan to mind wipe anytime soon. Um. I mean, I got three more levels. <laughs> oh, we need to reset our tame ordering group to zero. Okay. Oh, there's a Bigfoot. 
And this is some very limited squirrel hitting territory. Oh, man, if only we had a saddle on that uh, that Argent, we could take on that, that Alpha. That'd be a, a nice, tasty amount of experience points, too. Oh, we're about to take it on whether or not we want to. Come on. Get to the rock. Get to the rock. Don't go down. Okay. All right, fine. Be aggressive. Or not. Or not. Come on. We just got to get up here. Doing combat with a tappy, because why not? Ah. Wow. Okay. Boy, howdy. That's a whole lot of nope in that forest right there, guys. All right. But we, we, we know where it's at, so we came back there. Alright. Lightning one. Uh, okay, cool. Playing until Friday. Yeah, that's what I thought, but uh, I know you and Giggity talk a little bit more than I do. With my schedule changing like it has, I haven't been able to be on and just be chatty on the, on the server. On. I'm just going to keep flying. Slowly fall asleep while listening to Mad Commentary. All right, Posh. Well, no problem with that. And for all you that are tuning in, seven of you out there watching, thank you for watching Convertible Turtle Gaming. My name is Mag Synchro, one of the two streamers on this channel. We are family friendly. You can see the rules right above my head. Uh, saw Shadow's donation. Yes, yes. Look at that, guys. Shadow132, one of our sponsors, our moderators. All around, just awesome guy. Uh, donated to the channel. And... Um, yeah, it, it is super awesome, guys. I, I When I see donations come in, no matter how much the amount, from the, the you know the amount that Shadow donated to the, the dollar or the $2 or the $4 that I've seen people donate in the past, it humbles me. It really seriously humbles me. Um... Because I, you know, I'm just, I'm just a guy that plays video games. It's all I really see myself as, and, and you guys always say it's, it's more than that. And I, I sort of believe it a little bit, right? Because we have these conversations and whatnot. Keeping the RG at neutral to his, um, Giggity, he has no food, so he can't heal right now. We have zero food on both these dinos, so I appreciate the neutral comment, but in this case, it's not really going to help. I have no way to saddle it at the moment. I have no way to... Uh, it was the fact that I just found it. Um, it's. It was probably going to starve to death over the next couple of streams if I wasn't careful. Oh, that's cool, McAdoo. That, that's good. Uh, eventually, we need to start making some uh, alcohol for those guys, the Calithurians. I've never tamed one of them either. I started making alcohol on the server to tame one, and then I found out that the S Plus uh, Gardener uses alcohol to power them. And the S Plus Gardener, uh, unbeknownst to me, actually works as a refrigerator for fruits and vegetables, which is pretty cool. Ah, oh, green pillar. Uh. Yeah, eventually, Giggity. You got you got to remember, man. This is this is not the the super statted, super taming. Oh, is that a is that a blue Rex? Oh my God! That's a blueberry Rex. Oh, what level is this thing? Oh, that's so, that's so, oh my gosh. Okay. 
we want that. That is so cool looking. All right. That's going, oh yeah. I know, right? That is so cool looking. Oh, is it safe to get this, this drop? That's safe enough. Oh, it's it's a grenade. Okay, that that was that was a an unfortunate purple drop. Oh, we have to come back for that. We have to come back for the blueberry though. It's the Giggity Rex. Uh, it's not a Giga Rex, thankfully, but it's pretty cool looking. I uh, I like the coloring on that. That that's that's a really awesome coloration. The fact it's level four is, is unfortunate, but we can raise them up. We do have to tame and, and raise up 20 Rexes to max level. And I don't know how we're really going to do it. Tickle Chicken in the background. Yeah, I saw the Tickle Chicken. And the Tickle Chicken and the Rex are supposed to be equal. But I, I've got news for you. Um, I've yet to see an equal fight between a, a Tickle Chicken and a Rex. The Tickle Chicken generally has the upper hand. Here's a blueberry raptor too. I don't know what happened on my game to give me all these really cool blue dinos. And this thing here, it looks like a trapper keeper from the 80s. But we're gonna get all the way to the base so these guys can eat. Hardened blueberry, yeah, the, the blues are really nice. I like the way the blues look. Okay. Well, that's got battle scars on it. I don't know if we want to chill here for too long. All right. Find a, a baby one. You got the ultimate baby Rex. Find a red one so you can be red and blue. We already have a red Rex, so we're good there. We have a baby red one right now, actually, at the base. It's what's uh, being raised up at the moment. All right, so we're, we're no longer in as dangerous the area as we thought we were. So that's good. Um, get away from that Pego. Filthy Pego. See more blues on the island? Maybe it's just me. It, it may not be. I mean, the... the Supposedly, the colorations, you know, do get weighed into certain spawn strings and whatnot. Alrighty. Just doing the slow walk. Uh, yeah, Giggity, this is a full completion game. It's going to be two of each dinosaur, uh, one male, one female tamed. And we plan on taking down all the bosses on all the levels. We plan on having everything, all the all the dinos, all the saddled that can be saddled. It's going to be uh, quite interesting. One of these days, we're even going to find a unicorn. We're just going to have to figure out where it's at and start tracking it. Man, local player versus server is so much better for some stuff. Yep, Posh, we're going to be full teched out and everything, man. That's that's the goal. That's the goal. 100% completion is 100% completion. It's not going to be easy. That's for sure. That's for absolutely sure. All righty. I don't know why that brontosaurus is poking its head through there, but that's all right. Okay. Tappy's got another level. Yay for Tappy. More stamina. Does Digret name the dinos? No, uh, just on Ragnarok. I, I named the dinos here. I do not take dino recommendations because of people not being 
uh, understanding on it, so it's it's it is a thing. Okay, so somewhere we have a an Argentavis here. So find tribe dinos, sort by Argentavis. So we have an Agrajag right there. Okay. I have to remind myself I'm not on Ragnarok, so I don't have my flight suit. So I got to do the Kevin Costner Prince of Thieves thing and jump from thing to thing. All right. You, sir, have a saddle. Oh, yes. You've also got half my other stuff. Awesome. Liking that. Okay. So your hit points are not to the 2000s range yet. So, all right. There is our our aloe pair. All right, so there's the female aloe, and there is the second female aloe. But we we got them as a set. We'll get a we'll get a male aloe source eventually. All right, so we have all the food here, all the stuff here. All right, feeding trough looks like. Well, we're pretty decent. By the time we have finished today's stream, we'll have one, two, three, four, four more pieces of meat spoiled in about, uh, well, four times whatever. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Posh. And I appreciate you understanding and, and, and accepting that. Okay, so let's see here. Do we have... Do we have the cooking pot still? I think we might have dismantled it because it used to be here. Hello, Dimorphodon. All right. So, whoa, we have no wood. All right, animal stuff, armor, saddles, animal trophy, flint storage, thatch, fiber, metal, stone. I don't have a structures box here. We do have some stuff, though, so that's not bad. So maybe the smithy's got it? Let's check. Nope. All right, so we're going to actually see. We should be able to craft it. Yep, we can craft it. So we need stone, thatch, and wood. All right, so we need wood. Do we have wood in here even? Nope. And let's... What is outside here? Thinking it can do whatever it feels like doing. Stegosaurus. You are making stompy stomping noises. Oh, don't damage my pipes. Don't damage my pipes. I take it all back. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, we're going to have to... All right. Oh, you got some, like, crafting stuff on you, too. Boy, I, I... I've just... I need to get back to playing on this game a lot more, guys, because... I have so much stuff just spread amongst so many different things. Um... Gary? Okay. I don't even know how you got out of your, your pen. I, I really don't know how Gary got out of his pen. Wow. Okay. Well, so Gary is out of his pen, so we're going to have to be creative here. Let's see here. Well, clearly the, the panic mail. Hey, hey, Leon, how's it going? All right. Um, so let's just close that door and close that door. We have no door here, though. Hmm. We 
Gary just do me a solid buddy and, and promise not to leave. Getting some clothes for warmth on. Okay. All right. So let's go over here. Let's get on this aggro jag. Boy, all these guys are all sorted and stuff. They are not sorted anymore by far. We are so stuck on this. Okay. Is there anyone here that has a saddle that I haven't tried to untangle yet? All right. You... You. Let's just get you a little moved out of the way. Awesome. Maybe, just maybe we can kind of walk our way out. Let's see. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's see if the other Allosaurus has a saddle, because I bet you that that will work. Oh, here it is. The the fog, guys. It's like. Mori Fog. Uh, level 3 Aloe. My gosh. It's like crafting and sculpting it from the ground up. Come on, Aloe. Let's, let's at least get you out of there. Okay. If you were to say create three accounts to get the subtotal... Um, yeah, Posh, because it really wouldn't help. And if I was to say that I was for that, that could get me actually struck on YouTube. So I, I'm, I'm not. It, you, they're your accounts. You're willing to do whatever you want with it. But unless you actually actively participate on the channel with all three accounts, like every, like it's five to nine days then all it does is actually counts against the channel as inactive users. The, the new YouTube algorithm um, actually factors in inactive users on the channel and it penalizes channel content creators for having inactive users. So, and it's really hurting me right now. Really hurting me. Where we've had people come over in the past and create just accounts because they wanted to have accounts like where Yagnash has like nine accounts that all subscribe to my channel, they count as inactive subscribers. So YouTube stopped unsubscribing people. They just, they got tired of it. So they basically, they just penalize you for having inactive subs. All right, so now we can go and get on this bird. Um, yeah, if, if, if he's, if he's subscribed and he's not an active subscriber, it does hurt the channel. Now, if he's watching stuff, if he's looking at stuff, you know, that, that helps. But YouTube is trying to make a legitimate community, and I, I can't fault them for that. Hey, Mr. Hi Hi. Hey, Zylan, how's it going? Right, so let's get the cooking pot. All we need now is the stone and some thatch. And in a second, we're going to have to put this torch up. Yeah. And some of you out there that are watching, uh, nope, not at all. Yeah, man. So if he's if he's subscribed, awesome. Uh, that helps my channel for about three days. If he unsubscribes afterwards, that still helps my channel because that's channel activity. Um, if he doesn't watch anything, then it actually hurts. Um, day's been pretty good, Zylan. It's been pretty good. It's... Not as bad as it could be. Uh, we were, we had an interesting time, Digret and I, on the. Well, you have all the meat. My God, I gotta take him back. This is the dude that needs to go and feed the others. All right. Um. So we got the 46. We got the 40. We need to drop that. All right, drop that there. So let's take a sources for some prime meat. Uh, what's bad? Um, sorry, I'm shifting my brain without a clutch. So, so the thing is with YouTube's island, you know, YouTube is always trying to, I don't want to say push the envelope because push the envelope is like a, a positive phrase. 
But YouTube's trying to, every day, become a more and more legitimate viewer service. And the way they do that is by making their content and the viewers there matter. Um, and some people were like, well, you know, content always matters back. And I'm like, ah, it, it does, but it doesn't, right? And one of the things that you'll notice if you are a streamer and you're looking for, say, sponsorship, then most places will be more than willing to sponsor you. But if you're on, say, Twitch, they require like 10% the number of uh, streamer viewers than what they require on on, on Twitch versus YouTube. So like one channel will be like, well, if you've got 2,000 subscribers on YouTube, then you're good. Or if you have 200 followers on Twitch. And that's just the way the, the formula breaks out for a lot of reasons. Um, and it's because Twitch has, you know, for all the faults Twitch has for building up a community, Twitch is actually shown to be really good for what's called viewer retention. And viewer retention means that the... Okay, so we still don't have any stone here. I'm looking for stone in the dark. Whoa, hello, little Bronto. So viewer retention means someone, you know, watches the video and they follow the channel. And not only do they like what they see and they watch what they see and they watch ads and... You know, do what's necessary to, to make the channel grow, but they continue coming back. And that's that's the one advantage that Twitch has, in my opinion, over YouTube. Because Twitch is specifically used, you know, as a viewing client, and while well, as YouTube is, is say, well, not. Um, so they're better positioned for that. I just need a couple more stones. All right, so stones, wood, right, cooking pot. And we're just building this cooking pot because we want to we want to show you guys, you know, I, I was so excited and happy when we actually got the industrial cooker. And people are like, okay, so you got the industrial cooker. Why is that such a good deal? Um... Uh, not really. I have to go to bed, let the like. Oh, okay. Well, cool beans. Thanks, Silent. Really appreciate the like there, man. Um, YouTube does the same thing, Posh. If if you are subscribed to it and their new content comes up, you'll get a notification if you got the notification bell on. But it, it's it's more than that, though. You know, and I can see kind of what you're saying, but it's more than that because. Again, it kind of breaks down to, to what the intents are. All right, so let's go to Arcpedia, Dodo, Kibble. We're going to look up Kibble Dodo Egg because we're going to be trying to tame a Sanicthi. And All right, so let's pop that recipe out to where I can see it on my third screen in just a second, guys. I didn't even know I was going to be doing this until I tamed a, a couple of um, dolphins earlier. Alright, so for Dodo Kibble, we need one cooked meat. We need a couple of mejo berries, a rock carrot. And we need some fiber, which we got fiber. And we need a water source. Which, okay, we need to deposit that egg. So where's our dodo eggs? We got some dodo eggs here. So let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's for now just take four dodo eggs out. Again, this is just for the, the, for showing you guys what's going on here, right? All right. So, and one thing that I've discovered is you want thatch for when you are cooking in the cooker. Oh, we had some stone there. All right. Okay, so we have our refrigerator here, which is our meat. Our refrigerator here, which has our carrots. We have no mejos, though. Um, 
Here's some medjos. Okay. So dodo egg, carrots, cooked meat, medjos, fiber, water. So water's the big deal. Going to head off the arc server. All right. Well, no, no worries, man. Twitch does not take as much money of percentage of donations as YouTube does, but harder to get viewers at first. Uh, that's kind of true, Magadu. Um, kind of true. Oh, I had I had Medjo's there too. But there are uh, a few things that Twitch does not like. You can become what's called Twitch affiliated, and that's fancy talk for Twitch is not going to um, bemoan you as much as it could. Uh, well, I could have just been getting organic polymer from him all along. Didn't have to go visit them. Um, penguins after all. All right. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Okay, so... Huh. Somewhere I should have some water skins. I don't know where they're at, though. Let's just craft some water skins, and shall we? Because we're gonna make we're gonna make four servings of kibble, the old-fashioned way. That, that's that's the goal. I'm gonna show you what it all takes, guys. Because again, you know, we wanna we wanna show the you know the success out of all this. All right. So now we have everything that we need to make dodo kibble. So first, we need our heat source, which is gonna be our our that there. We're going to need the carrots, which is four of them, because we're making four servings. We need the cooked meat. Again, that's four. Our four dodo eggs. Our four water skins. We need 12 fiber, because, you know, you need to have fiber in your diet. So eggs, carrots, meat, medjos. We need a total of eight medjos. So if we're going to make all this kibble, look at all that. Look, this is this is what we have to have here. And we only have two spots open, so we're going to light the fire, and then we're going to wait for this to cook. And we're going to see what happens. And I always go and count the number of things we have on the recipe and the things we have in there. So eggs carrots meat berries fibers and water so that's six things so and we count one two three four five six so we got one twitch but most on youtube and most of the ones who follow on twitch also post on youtube so that would mean that they're not affiliated to mcadoo because if they are affiliated twitch automatically puts youtube copyright on their twitch material and if you are streaming on Twitch as an affiliated Twitch uh, user and you post your stuff onto YouTube, then you're going to get copyright strikes for your own material. Because Twitch has a, a, a claim to the copyright on other platforms. And if, <laughs> if you fight the copyright, if you're an affiliated YouTube uh, or a str uh, Twitch streamer, then it comes back against you pretty bad. Because uh, YouTube is going to find out from Twitch that Twitch absolutely owns the copyright on it. So your actual copyright appeal is going to be denied. And Twitch is going to find out that you're breaking their terms of service as being an affiliated uh, streamer. And they're going to hit you. Now, being an affiliated Twitch streamer, though, gives you access to a lot of really good tools. And that's where uh, Twitch uh, oftentimes outshines YouTube. Now, on the flip side... If you actually, oh, this might, this might be, oh, we had the carrot spoil before we got it. So we're going to split one off and put that in there. So on the flip side, if you are on YouTube streaming and you move to Twitch, you can't actually advertise your Twitch channel on a YouTube video. You can't just have a YouTube video that says, come see me on Twitch. Uh, I don't have a Twitch channel. 
I looked into it. I looked at all the terms of services on both sides. And YouTube still seems to be not much, but the better option for, for small channels like me. Because um, that gets into the, the next thing. So look at that, guys. We had a whole entire, like, speech about Twitch versus YouTube while we were doing that. My goodness, right? I mean, like, oh, my God, who does that? Uh, so that's for four. That's for four. Um, it's like, oh, my gosh, right? So now we're going to use the cooking pot, the industrial cooker. And the industrial cooker is going to allow us to put quite a lot of things in. Um, let's do this. We're going to put 12 there. So 12 meat, 12 carrots. Um, let me pull up this fiber because we don't need all that fiber. 12 servings of fiber. 12 servings of mejos. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now we just pull up this and then we just turn this on. And look at this. Look how fast. Look how, I mean, lightning quick this is cooking. And it's cooking, it's still in bulk. But it's cooking just an enormous amount in a fraction of the time. And that's what this actual industrial cooker is meant for, is it actually is meant for cooking in bulk. And you'll notice it's cooking a, a, a piece of dodo kibble comes out about every five seconds. Now, again, we're on solo play with the solo play options turned on. So there are some, not many, but some various uh, changes, uh, we need to pull them out because this is hydrated, but not super hydrated. All right, so we now have our dodo kibble. So that's good there. And now we're going to, okay, we don't need anything else to put away. Wait, what's that egg? We had an egg stowed away, a trike egg, okay. Uh, we can, doing that either all right so we need some food for us because if we get starving that's not good for us are we going to need our scuba tank and that's going to take some materials to repair we'll find out though but so yeah um so the the, the twitch thing and the youtube thing i i keep looking at it i i see many streamers that started before and many streamers that started after I started streaming and they um, they came back they, they went from YouTube to Twitch they found out that grass is only greener on the other side when there's a septic tank underneath it and they decided that it really wasn't for them and and I, I understand that, I get that I, I tried telling people that and I just don't get hit with it, you know all right, so organic polymer can be used as polymer. So we have the polymer for this repair. So we need fiber and hide. So here's the fiber. It has to be repaired at the fabby. So let's go to the fabby. And do we have anything to, that we can craft over here? Nope. There's some hide. Do we have all the things for this yet? Just the metal units. Oh, hello, Niraj. Greetings. Welcome to the channel. Now, this is a family-friendly channel named Convertible Turtle Gaming. Appreciate you stopping by and say hello. And the fiber, let's drop that in, turn this on. Let's go ahead and repair that. Now, I don't know if it took the that stuff or not but we got our we got our scuba tank so i th think right now for where we're at we are ready to get up on our argent fly back to our 
our tree house that desperately needs some food dropped off. And then we're going to go tame us a... Uh, we're going to go tame us a couple of dolphins, guys. And they're... Well, before we get too invested, I guess we need to make sure that we have the saddle for it, right? Ichthy... Ichthyosaurus saddle. We don't have all the materials, maybe. Let's go back. Let's, let's take off the daycare. Let's let's see here. Hey, look at this. Our baby Rex is, is, is dropping eggs now. It's a level 9. It's got all the meat on it that it needs in the world. So we don't need all that now. It should eat from the from there. Oh well, thanks, Niraj. We've uh we've been at two point four for a while, and we know that we're going to be probably stalling. Oh uh, yeah, we we got another X egg there. Let's just that should be enough meat to go. But we're, we're pretty much because our, our streaming frequency went down. We, we understand that. We totally get that. All right. So these guys all have their own little thing there. Mine as well. Um, we need stone and wood. We need to get stone and wood before it gets dark. All right. And we'll find stone and wood over there. Actually, we'll find wood right over here. Oh, we probably need to check walkie and everybody else's here. Oh, they got plenty of stuff. Give them the stuff that's not going to spoil anytime soon. Um, all right. Whoa, is Walkie following Agri Jag? Let's, let's just turn that off. We don't need Walkie to follow Agri Jag. My gosh. All right. Oh, in a little bit, do you have oxygen? Do you have an oxygen meter? Are you about to... No, you don't. Okay. But I, I much rather would have the, the Sarkos up on. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Let's go over here. On this. And actually... Uh, I was talking about stone like it was all that important, and it, it is, but not all that much important. So now we can repair this torch, and we can repair that torch. And we should be good on that. Okay. So when it gets dark, as it no doubtly will over on this, we'll be good. Um, that is... Quite the blue brontosaurus. And speaking of brontosauruses and blues, oh, it's actually more green than blue. Let's uh, see if we can't just RG it to death. If you just get right on the nape of the neck, almost guys, you can almost pin the brawny to the ground and just kill it. Don't know if we'll be able to kill it before we run out of stamina, though. Let's just land here for a second. Get some stamina back.
All right, so how long do we have to get to that Rex? About nine minutes. So let's see. Let's see if we can get to that Rex. Maybe. Boy, it's, it's awful far away, away, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Because the, the Rex seem to be in a pretty good area. Oh, flag on the play, guys. As important as the Rex is, we were going to tame us a, an Ichthyornis. And there's one just right here. Oh, and it's and it's low enough to where we should be able to like single tame it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Alright, there we go. So we got us a Nickthy. Now all we gotta do is avoid the manta. And avoid the avoid the Ichthy from getting killed by the mantas also. Come on, Nick V. All right, good, Nick V. All right, so now we're going to chop this thing up. All right. So that's how you tame a Nick the Ornus, guys. I mean, it's uh, not that hard, thankfully. Um, keeping them alive is a little bit on the tricky side. But, we need fiber, hide, metal, and wood. Hide shouldn't be that hard. And the fiber hide. So the fiber is easy enough. And everyone knows how easy it is to tame a dodo, right? The the carrot is really the hard spot on that. Uh, how much fiber does the saddle take? Uh, P. Ichthyosaurus. It only takes 50 fiber. I mean, and if we had if we had actually started with the cooking pot, you know, the cooking pot is what. Level 8. We could have had us an Ichthyornis pretty close to that. We would have had to have had a medium garden plot to make the, the carrots, though. Alright, so... We need the metal and the wood now. So we just need to find some metal nearby around here. Surely we can find some metal somewhere. I got one piece of metal out of there. Oh. Rip, Ichthy. Like I said, guys. <laughs> uh, Omega. That's a very interesting question. You lost the internet before I could say anything, but did hear most, not all your response. Okay. Well. I don't know where that manta went, but very upset with it. So we're going to find some metal. If we had a saddle, I could have... Could have... Been a little easier. Oh, that's something I keep forgetting about. Oh my gosh. We have a scorpion somewhere over here. Or we did. Oh, wrong button. That's actually my I got those flipped on the on the server now. Let me let me flip those so I don't do that again. Alright. 
All right, so we're going to dial the friend real quick. We're going to tell it to look for our scorpion, Spumus Scorpus. Because he is... Oh, he's like a whole entire section over, so we're not going to be worried about him. All right, so we're looking for some raw metal. And we're going to build this the Ichthyosaurus saddle. Tame the Ichthy and, and get it back. We're also... Looking for that really nicely colored blue Rex that we had over here. I, I hope, I don't know if it will or not. But we got, you know, we, we, we really aren't really on the good on the time for these prime meats. But I know he was around here somewhere. He was romping and playing and having a good time. There's a Baryonyx. We don't want to have anything to do with the berry. Raptors, we don't have anything to do with either. Oh, man. You know, when we saw that Rex over here, we thought he was in a good spot. Oh. If he come across the two Callows, though, he's a, he's a dead Rex. Yuck. Oh, we still got a ways to go up. Okay. There's the... There's the uh, tickle chicken that was in the background, the Therizano. Oh, Chucky Darn. To quote one of the original internet memes, oh, bother, said Pooh as the brakes went out. Okay. Looking like we're still okay here at the moment. I haven't seen Big Blue yet. Somebody made the monkeys mad. All right. Boy, I would really would love to have that Rex. Just its coloration was so good. Let's see if we have a wild Rex around here. There is a level four female Rex around here. That's what it was. There it is. There it is, guys. All right, there's the blue Rex. All right, so. We need a... We need a lot less raptors. Oh my god. Can there be any more raptors? Gross. Alright, we'll just leave them there. I was hoping to do that over on this side, but it looks like the Rex has found him a, a trike to eat. Or her a trike to eat, rather. So, let's see if that's tasty for it. Oh, it's found two of them. This might be bad for the Rex. Ah, uh, looks like it's okay. Okay. All right. So. What's it? What's it finding to eat so far? Anything? More triceratopses? No, it can't. It can't be fighting more trikes. That's a moss chops on the run. That's a raptor I'm hearing in the background. All right. Two things have to happen. One, we absolutely need to go back to our Geely outfit. All right, where's our Geely gloves? Did we not? Oh, son of a biscuit, guys. We did not repair our Geely gloves. We got four out of five though, so I think we'll be okay there. Let's just kill this one. Alright, we got that one dead. Let's go and swoop this one up. Oh, 
Okay. Come on. Fight the turtle, finish the turtle fight. Okay, those are just drones. That's fine. We really need you to be kind of watching our six, though. Oh, Archie. Okay. All right. All right. Let's set us up a nice little spot here. Through the tree. Come on. Missed. Twelve shots left with one in the chamber. Oh, it's it's lining right up with us. Excellent. Excellent. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It's a Smurf. Go night, night. Go night, night. Come on. Go to sleep. Oh, yes. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right. So, I, uh... I am not one typically for, like, cosmetic tames, guys. I, I want to make sure that we're aware of this. But I, for one, am, am kind of stoked about this thing. Look at this. This thing is beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. So while that's sitting there, let's see if we can't find us a, a Stegosaurus... eat or or a carno here's a carno oh love the color absolutely macadoo absolutely let's see here, here is this is this a carno this is a carno okay Thing's going crazy with all these compies here. It's a whole nest of compies, my god. I don't think it has a chance against me and the compies. Give me some raw prime meat. Give me some raw prime meat. All right. That's what you do when you're not playing on super awesome stat servers. You have to go get your own prime meat. All right. There's the, there's the, uh, maybe here's where we shot from. There it is. It's really hard, hard to, uh, yeah, we had some bugs get us. Thanks for the stamina check there. Oh, and I gotta eat some food too. All righty. All right, where are we at on the team? 12%, not bad. And we're 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 using the prime meat mainly to 
level it up faster. I mean, that's really all it comes down to. Getting this bad Mamma Jamma home is going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. Um, it's going to be very difficult. It's itty, itty, bitty. And it's going to have to level up some. So uh, we're not going to get too attached to this thing. But my gosh. My gosh. This blue color here, guys. And this is just the bl a blue that pops. And I would love to breed that into our tame somehow. When we're doing our, our, uh, you know, our Rexes. Now this is a female also. So... Um, this realistically is kind of where we want to be at because it's a level four. We know exactly where its stats are going to be at. And we know if we get some mutations, the mutations actually will come out higher level. Little ear holes there. And it's already up to 49%. And it's only eaten one of those pieces of prime meat. That's why prime meat's so important, guys. But we're still we're still going to find something to saddle with the poor the a saddle. I don't see any like metal ore nearby. Doesn't take too much metal ore. Actually that might be a metal ore piece. Let's let's uh No, no metal there. Trudons. Ugh. Oh, one of these days, guys, we're going to have to tame a Trudon. No, I'm not really looking for it at all. Would love to see that color on the server, but I'm not so far. I have seen a couple of blues close to that. Not, not many, but close to that. And I do know that uh, the auction house mod that's on our server, Macadoo, when people get colors that are cool like this on dinosaurs that they don't want, uh, bad stats or what have you, they'll sell them on the auction house, and their name will be like the color they're supposed to be. And let's see, what is what is that down there causing the muck? That's a level one Carno. Yeah, our, our newly minted Rex can kill that level one Carno. No problem, no problem at all with that. So I think we. Uh, so is that the way home? That's the way home. We're gonna have to like walk it home. Anyways, so. Inventory. We got all these arrows, but no crossbow. Can we make it just a bow? We need a little bit more wood to make a bow. I think we're going to do that, though. And that's one of these things that happens on ARC all the time, guys is you will get to where you're planning on something. And like here, we were planning on taming us a dolphin and taking it home. We saw what happened with that. The dolphin just did not want to come with us. Ooh, that might have been what got the... Yeah, let, let, let's... uh. That's a level 24. Yeah, our Rex is not going to be able to take that thing out at all. Yeah. Check it out. Tame the Carno to help the Rex home, maybe. Just a thought. Yeah. Um, I think that Carno is dead. <laughs> I don't think that Carno gets to, to live. Because I think what happened is that Carno went after that, that monkey there. And that monkey said, no. All right. Hello, Blue. All right. And 
options, change name. Uh oh. Um. Oh, that was a that was a that was a mistake, Dialo. All right, Eiffel sixty five. Let's go. He's blue. Da ba dee. Thanks for the GG. Da ba dee da ba die. All righty. Well, he won't eat that. All right. We need something that hits me when I pick it up. All right, so we'll we'll, we'll do that. We're gonna force feed it some nuggets. Is what we're gonna do. Oh, what do we got over here? Level up. Not yet. Half a level off those, though. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's another monkey wandering around. We're going to let it do what it wants to do. We're going to avoid the monkey at all costs. I think this thing can kill the turtle easily enough. more bites and it should be down. Okay. Alrighty. We know better than the mess with any terrain. The Triceratops buff now is is really good. If you have a whole group of them like this, look at that. There's like one, two, three, four trikes, five trikes. Yeah, we're not going to touch a Triceratops. We, we touch a Triceratops, and the Triceratops reminds us why we aren't supposed to try, touch the Triceratopses. Um, Raptor we might touch, though. We might touch this Raptor or two. But Therizino, we will leave all sorts of alone. Okay. Such a baby Rex. Okay, let's, let's, uh... I don't think Threzes go after Rexes, so we should be good there. Here we go, guys. Oh, that was a raptor the same color as the, the Rex is. Now let's see here. What level is this Triceratops? Level 13. Okay, we are. If we had this thing saddled, we'd be all over 13. I don't think we can pick this dude up. Well, we can. Nothing there, okay. I am so stoked with this blue Rex, though. Oh my god. With a little purple underneath? Wow, it's just... 
I'm gonna have to see what it takes for us to be able to upload dinos from the single player to the server. Yeah, RG's gotta level up. All right, level up your your hit points. You still got a lot of hit points to go. And let's see what we got. We got another thirteen. All right, out comes the torch. So we can see what we're doing. All these parasaurs. Looks like we're going to get home without instant. Which is better than I can say for the last Rex that we took on a trip. The last Re Rex we took on a trip did not make it there at all. Look at, I mean, it just looks so much cooler in the dark, even. All right. I think I'm in the right area. Yeah, we're getting closer to the Magmorial Highway. And for those of you guys that are watching the video right now, this is uh, halfway through our stream series that we do. This is Mag vs. Wild. My name's Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming. One of the two streamers on this channel that happens to be family friendly. Uh, Digrat, my wife, is the other streamer. She's not as family friendly as I am, but she does stream Skyrim on another channel that we do have. Right now, programming on that is a little sparse. We're looking to hopefully kick, uh, kick that up a notch, though. Uh, oh, we almost passed it. Uh, really need you up here on this 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 highway, Rex. Okay. So he's following me right now, so we're going to J-Whistle to switch control over to the RG. Because the reason for this gate here is to keep Alphas from waltzing in. They don't get to just waltz in. Alright. And now he's following Agri Jack. Alright. Here on here, excellent, good. Oh, I was just thinking, guys, we didn't check Gorney to make sure he had like fish meat. Okay, so let's park you right there. I left the door open. Did Gary make a break for it? Looks like he might have tried. Gary's still fine though. Okay. No raw metal there. Plenty of skins. Any raw metal? Yes, we have raw metal. Awesome. All right, crafting. Ick. We need f fiber. Hey, Triangle. How's it going? Uh, that's good to know that Rex does have a level up, because we do need that. Alright, let's make this Ichthy on his saddle, so next time we tame us an Ichthy, we'll be able to just run. Let's see here. So we have some metal, some gunpowder. All of our bullet stuff to craft with is at the other station. So that being the case, we're going to switch over to a crossbow. We're going to craft us some trank arrows. We're going to make us about 100 of those. We're going to switch our ammo out. 
bullet and gun can go away. Juggle that back and forth like that. And just craft them like that. Do, 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 do. Because my OCD likes to have as little few stacks as possible. That's a trophy as well as that. Okay, so we can put that away because we no longer need that for self-defense. All right, so we're good there. We're good there. Right, we're going to go up to this Rex. We're going to level him up because we do have a level up. And we'll be able to kind of get him going again. Boom, scrape me off, thank you. Now listen up, here's a story. All right, so my understanding for a gloves, yes, thank you for reminding me. McAdoo, thank you for reminding me. All right, so uh, we need about 10,000 hit points and 500% DPS on a Rax to be able to go rocking. Uh, we need that across all of our Rexes. All right, so we need to find out where we what we do with our gloves. Where are the Geely gloves? There are the Geely gloves. We have polymer here. We need fiber and hide. Fiber and hide. Repair. Excellent. We can put those on. All right, so now we have our pieces of fur that we need. We got our geely. We got our pants, hat, all those things that we need. Double torches. I'm just getting rid of things that we shouldn't find necessary while we're out and about. All right, seems like we're okay there. All right, Gary, mind the fort, don't escape. Great me off. All right, and he's still got lots of food. Let's see what Eiffel 65's got rocking. He also has lots of food, and he he got some stuff off of people. So let's put the food on him. We can put this torch out. H, it's five in the morning. All right, so the goal is to get a dolphin of any gender over here. Um, it's not an easy thing to do. At all. Alright. Let's just take this over here. Well, I thought I was parked just right on top, but it looks like I wasn't. Oh, well, okay. So let's just fly away. I was going to just clean them up, but forget that. Okay. So, we really need to ache the ornaments that's like over the coast here. It's going to be a lot easier for us. And they, they sometimes get curious around here. Let's, let's pull the tracker out. Find tribe dinos. No, we want the wild, the wild ones. Oh boy, we have a level twelve male ichthy around here. What's the mantas? Not digging that, but oh, there's the ichthy right there. So we're doing this almost in pitch blackness. Alright, we can get to it though. Actually, let's do this. Inventory, switch that over.
And that is how easy this is to do, guys. All right, and we're just going to swim like we never swam before. All right, here we are with walking a little bit. Got the meat. This thing's food should fill up. Yep, yeah, awesome. So there we go. That was that was the GG. That was one of the easiest GGs we've had tonight. So that's that's the mail though, right? That's oh, it's um. Uh, let's go down here in, in the water. Oh, there's a sarco egg. Let's pick that up. Why a whistle? Yeah, that's the boy. It was fast, I know, right? And that's the thing with the the kibble, right? We we do have the taming speed, taming effectiveness, what you want to call it. It is at two. Um, it is at twice, so it would have theoretically taken two pieces of kibble instead of one. But um. When it comes to hand feeding stuff, some of the dinos that require hand feeding, I don't notice it taking all that much more. And look, here's our super, super security, guys. Look at this. All you have to be is intelligent. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm a goof. I like being a goof, though. It's kind of my claim to fame, right, guys? All right, so Megalodon Kibble. Oh, we need another Megalodon. Um, because we do need a second Megalodon, because we just have Walkie. And they eat Spino Egg Kibble. I, I don't know if we have any Spino Kibble or not. We'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. It takes so long. I I really wish I had my glider from Aberrant. <laughs> because I just would glide and fly and do all that kind of stuff. Alright. Are there any ickies around here that are in the girl's side of things? No. There is a female Megalodon, though. Uh, I see. If we're going to try that, we need to... Oh, we're going to need, like, food and stuff. So, yuck. Okay. We definitely will need the saddle for it. Okay. Like, this Agrajag with the red hair up top. You know, all these dinos, I kind of want to move over to the Ragnarok server once we finish this playthrough. So I'll have to look into that. Alright, so Mrs. Ichthy, where might you be? Are you over here, maybe? There's a boy. We already got the boy. Oh. You guys want to know how to how to take out a tickle chicken? This is how you do it. You don't fight them fairly. You don't fight them on land. And watch. We're trying to drain its stamina because they do have stamina. It is going to get out in the water here.
See, this thing's just beating up on our RG, but... It can't really get to us here. We really can't get to it. But it will run out of stamina far faster than we will. Guess where we're at. And it was taking damage from drowning at times, so... Hey, there's a Megalodon! Not sure what's, what, what gender that is. Let's, um... Uh, let's just park this right here. Female! Okay, is Walkie a boy? Find tribe dinos. Search. Where is it? Where is it? Pteranodon. Parasaurs. Why do we have so many P's in the game? Megalarasis. Walkie is a boy. Okay. Sweet. Oh, we gotta count for the arrow drop. And the water magnification. That's what will really get you on this one, guys. Is the water magnification. There we go. Swim backwards. It's running away. Swim forwards. One more arrow ought to do it. One more arrow ought to do it. One more arrow ought to do it. Oh, wow. Okay. That is not going to live to see what we want to see it. All right. Are you a female Ichvi? You are. Oh, level one. Okay. Is it unconscious? Did it take a while to get unconscious? Nope, it didn't. All right, let's, uh, come on. You want to come over and see me? I got tasty kibble treats. This is why we really need RG stamina. Um, that's, that's, okay. Anybody ever wants to know why I have so many arrows on me at any given time? It's because of this. My ability to shoot things is just really bad. Oh, there it is. Hey, it finally came to say hi. Alright, awesome. Hey, you. Let's put the saddle on you. Let's get all sorts of away of those things. I just had to make sure I had some food. Right, we're just going to run it right into a parking spot. Oh, the Ichthys are going to outstand at that time. Oh, Archie. You're okay where you're at, though. All right. We're going to Y whistle you. We're gonna take Walkie's saddle. Walkie, my man, you got fish on ya? Alright. Let's uh take a look at our scuba tank. Alright. So the scuba tank guys, if you notice I'm using it, it's it's really awesome. Um, but it also has some drawback. Uh, the, the drawback on the scuba tank is it does take durability loss as you use it. 
So as I'm breathing in it, it's, it's slowly chipping away at the durability on that thing. So if you're not actively doing stuff with it, you absolutely will no longer have it going on. So we have, we have the Arby's going on, right? We have the meats. Uh, we need some prime meat to tame a Megalodon. We need a female Megalodon. We have the saddle. So we, we, got, a, we got a pretty good water thing going on. We'll have to see. Yeah, following a level one Ichvi. Uh, that level one Ichvi. It doesn't get better than that as far as like sculpting its stats, right? If you want to sculpt an animal stats, get it at level one and then go from there. All right, so we, we got. We got some of the easier tames here. Oh, is this a blue pteranodon? Is this a flying smurf? Oh, wait a second. Look at this, guys. Look how beautiful this is. It's like... I don't even know. It's down though, so let's uh let's investigate for a second. It's got that dark coloration. Hmm. I just we're we're gonna we're totally gonna catch and release this one guys. But look at it. it. It's this nice jet black purplish color. On a PvP server? That could possibly sneak by in the dark. But yeah, we're, we're not, we're not going to tame that one, guys. Because we, we have so many Pteranodons right now. And there's no need for us to really have them on the server. Other than just to have them, right? So, all right, so. Let's pull up the tracker, show wild. There's just mantas around here. So we know there's a megalodon or two over this way. We're looking for a female. Can we scoop that up? Did we get it? We did. I love doing this to trilobites. I feel kind of mean. Oh, let's... Um, all right. Click to resume. Click on close. All right, let's put our... That's why I mean by texting and driving, guys. Put that away. Now we can chomp on it. It won't run away. We don't have to chase it. And its food is like right there. Okay. Hello, Mr. Turtle. Is that a manta just chilling in the water there? We do have to tame mantas, too. Those are going to be slightly easier to tame with kibble. I guess we go back to the scuba tank the the hula the hula tank because I look like I'm in a hula skirt that might be the female we saw earlier is it it is okay do we have any actual meat on us no we don't of course not Looks like a, a clam, but it's not. So 
so far away. I need to get some stamina. I also need to pro I, it probably would have done me good to get the flippers because they let you swim faster. I also hate how I'm wielding this crossbow. I'm not steadying it with my shoulder or anything, even when I go to aim it. It just tucks underneath the elbow. There's my bird at, there's my bird. Okay. Eat a couple bites of food, and let's go get some raw meat off of our bird, because we keep saying it and don't. Alrighty, so I know it was over this way. And it was a level four female, which is prime taming real estate for us. stuff flying at us. And we're moving forward, guys. It doesn't look like it, because the water is tricky. Underwater stuff on this game is, is not easy. The rain makes it all cloudy. Be just being underwater is cloudy. Objects in the mirror appear closer than they are. Eventually it's going to get dark and we're going to be really up the creek with no paddle. Alright, let's... Shouldn't take more than like six or seven of these. All right, there, she's down. And all my job is now is to just stay with her. As soon as she tames, we'll have a saddle on her. And she will tame a little bit on the slow side. Let's see. Raw meat takes about 21 raw for a lobi in two narc pots. I don't know if. Durability is going to hold up, it will find out. Okay. And guys, we are in the final hour of today's kind of little tame a thon we got going on. Um, I really, really hope she gets to eating soon. I kind of got to stay on top of her. Because I'm going to run out of energy. I'm going to run out of stamina. Ah. 
I don't see any of the jellyfish coming this way from that side. I don't see any of them coming from this side or that end. So I think, fingers crossed, I think we're okay. All right. And again, we do have the taming factor at two. And we've explained in the past that taming factor does not go point for point, pound for pound. And so it said it was going to take 21, right? So a taming factor of two, one would think, well, that means it takes twice as much, or it takes one half. And we can see here, it's really going to take like a quarter, um, which which is really weird. I, I don't know what the wild card math is. I just know it's not good. It's not math like you and I know it. So we shouldn't even need the narcotic for this tame because of the settings we have. We really need this thing to be like right here when this team goes, this team's going to go south. I mean, we are, we are about to lose energy. We're about to start sinking. We're going to get a level five out of it and we're fine with a level five. Got some nice stripage. I don't know what's below us. Just being in the water reduces our stamina. Okay. Hello, little dolphin. You want to come with us, dolphin? Here, you can come with us. Uh, you can't really stand on it, McAdoo, until it's got a saddle. Once it's got a saddle, it kind of works as a stand. So we can kind of ride up and down it a little bit. But that's about it. Alright. But if we get knocked off somehow, it's going to be really bad. Because <laughs> we'll sink to the bottom, and we can actually sink so far that we won't be able to do anything. Um, I kind of wish I had the Ichthy saddle on us too, so I could saddle this guy and it would give us a way to get out of here. But yeah. But we can, we can kind of guide ourselves left and right, and we're just going to sort of balance on its back here. And, and hope for the best. It will, will absolutely take us an extra Ichthy, because it, it got too close to us. And what's really, really cool about this particular dino being low level again is since we're going to raise them up from minimum to maximum, we should, theoretically, should be able to uh, make this the best stats possible, right? We know, we know this thing doesn't have perfect stats, and when it tames up, it's going to get an adjustment. We're not going to be able, when it goes from level 4 to 5, it's going to get its wild adjustment that it got otherwise. Oh, Manta. What level is that thing? It's a level 3. And you're level 4. And it's a level 3. And it's, it's, it's not. Oh, no. Please don't wreck my Megalodon tame, Manta. Please. Oh, 
We didn't want this at all. And we're dead. All right. Well, good news, bad news, right? Um, we're going to spawn on our bed. All right. And then, yeah, rip, 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 rip. As has always been explained, guys, we do have two mods. That mod is the... Mod of, get me out of here, Mr. Wizard, also known as the Death Assistant mod. And this is why we were we were okay with that. Um, well, we got to repair that, that's for certain. Um, that took a lot of damage in the middle of the fight. We should have, we should have just let that, we should have just taken that off and let it kill us. I don't think think don't think that went anywhere near the way we'd hoped it would right all right uh, actually we want to take them up into our inventory we're going to need hide for that Let's get our boots out. Equip, 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 equip. Okay, and what did we decide that they needed? Spino egg kibble. Spino egg kibble. Because that's definitely not going to survive. So let's let's see. Do we have any spino eggs? A stego egg. One spino egg. Oh my god. So let's see what the Spino Egg Kibble takes, guys. One prime meat jerky. Which we don't have any there. Did this finally cook? To oh, we got some jerky. Awesome. All right. Sava root, medjo berries, and fiber. So there we go. There we go. Mejos, fiber. Let's cook this. Let's get to cooking. Oh, we need we need sour roots. That's not it. It's this one here. Throw a potato in. Oh, spino egg, not sarco egg. Let's put the sarco egg away. Because if this thing is dead, which we 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 pretty much know it is. Uh, maybe take an icky saddle with me. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Kibble. There we go. Spinal egg kibble. We got it made up. All right. I. Yeah, I think that might be worth it. We don't need to use the throne, so. All right. Hello, Fetch. Hello, Little Bat. Hello, Ickvy with no name and Ickvy with no name number two. Let's take your saddle. Ah, let's let's go get the rest of our scuba gear, guys. Because you know, being able to swim a little better might have been good too. I love Eiffel 65, guys. Look at him, all blue and stuff. Yeah.
I thought the rest of the boat pursuit was here. Maybe it's in the, uh, maybe it's down in here. No, maybe it's in the armor bin. I don't know where I put half the stuff in this game, guys. I'm, I'm so far unorganized. Not there. Extra stuff? Nope. I think I just maybe made the, the scuba tank and just called it good. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It's been so long. Yeah, I don't have the flippers. Let's see. Yeah, I never made the flippers. Uh, we might have enough for the flippers. So let's do that. And I need fiber. Funny how that is. And you know, if you guys had noticed, the uh, the mass doesn't actually give us the oxygen. Uh, just the tank does and that I don't know what the mask really does for us if anything other it does give some temperature control we didn't do something stupid like put the megalit on saddle on it that's good All this for a shark. Shark week. Donna. Donna. And what's really funny is I am a higher level on this on this game than I am on the server game. Oh, whoa. Hello. How are you? You're female. Oh. Here's a here's an idea. Let, let's equip the uh, the scuba gear we brought over, right? Go. Where, where'd he go? All right. Um, much, much closer, much, much safer. better guys it's, it's a little lower level than what we still kind of want but I'm just looking for a female for walking it's really close <laughs> to shore I mean my goodness are you what danger do you really honestly pose to 
for a Megalodon that we're trying to tame. We don't really. Hmm. It is trying to mess up this turtle, though. It eventually is going to go unconscious. This turtle is just going to win. Where's the turtle at? Where's the turtle at? Look at that, guys. The turtle's going down after it. We did our part. We did our part. We helped the turtle whoop a shark. Boy, she just doesn't want to eat that fast, does she? All right. So while that's while that's cooking there, while we while, while we save that, right? That, that was nothing but a spite killing guys. There it goes. Look at the turtle. Just whoop it. Whoop it. <laughs> oh, I should not be as happy about that. I should not be as spiteful about that as I am. But I'm pretty sure that's the Megalodon that killed me, maybe. What, what was it? Uh, Megal uh, Manta. No, it was a Manta that killed me. Okay. Manta killed me. Oh, well. Oh, let's uh, put the scope away. We don't need the scope anymore. All this food and stuff that we don't even need at this point. Hmm. Oh, there's a Megalodon, level 7. That is the Megalodon saddle, tamed. We'll take the GGs for that. Okay. I think that's my bridge I see off in the distance. There's the base. All right. So this got, we got it. We got it, guys. Thanks for GG, McAdoo. Really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and settle this ichthy. And uh, we'll, we'll not think about taking one out ever again, possibly. Uh, we don't care about the spoilage on the organic polymer, but what we do care about is getting rid of this ridiculous penguin outfit that we're wearing right now. All right, so back to how we like to usually, we like to run around the Geely outfit because it gives us the best, uh, 
the best vantage to not be messed with by a lot of stuff. Like this dude, we can come all the way up to him, and he ain't going to care. Usually they'd fly away. Because of the Geely outfit, he don't, he don't notice us. Now, we, we will eventually, you know, if we hit somebody or bump into them or, you know, clash into them. That That's different, right? Now, we got to get our bird back. Because our bird's not here. Our bird's by the gate. Right? Yeah. There's our bird. Burbs. And that corpse also sinks. It's not a boon corpse. Oh, well. All right. Well, um... Well, now, I... I was like, let's, let's tame a couple of, uh... Dolphins, and let's tame a shark, and... Let's just do that. And that's kind of what happened. And now we're kind of done with what I had planned to do today, guys. I, uh... Huh. Huh. I'm trying to think of what else we can tame. Pardon me, guys. I'm usually not a, a, a verbal yawner like that. Oh, we haven't had one of tamed yet, have we? To level 20. Ah. Yeah, we're not going to tame it with that many berries. It needs to have way more for that. Okay. So that got pretty close. Let's see if we can't. Get some better berries while we're waiting for it. And thank you, moderator. Trolls usually are dealt with pretty quickly here, guys. Regardless of nationality. Hear it, where's it at? All right, let's see if we can get some more. Hey, cucumber, how's it going? 
Autocorrect is autocorrect, man. It happens. It happens. There's the dodo. Somewhere around here is a pego with her name on it. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. And we will name that after Digrat's favorite taunt for these things. She, she calls them filthy pagos. She, she hates them. She really does. All right. Somewhere is our bird, which is not good because we told our, our bird to pass a whistle, so we need to find him. And for those of you who are familiar with the Dino Tracking mod and going, haha, mag, it, uh, it malfunctioned. It, no, it, it didn't. It's just I wasn't tracking the right aggro jag. So we've already tamed two compies. Ark's version of popcorn chicken, always tasty. do have a drop here. Let's go see what's on the drop. Green drops really not all that important for us, but worthwhile. Coloring on the peg was not too bad. Ah, some stuff to grind in the grinder. Okay, so... Oh, that's something we do need to make, guys. We need to figure out... We need to make one of them in... in okay. Need to hunt 500 wood. Oh, my gosh. Doing math. The other stuff I'm pretty sure we got, right? The 500 wood's going to be kind of the, the crutch. And you, follow us. Because we're going to tuck this wood on you. And the beer barrel is for alcohol. Now, we don't condone the use of alcohol. We, um, we are... Uh, trilobites cannot be tamed. I don't believe they even count as a fish. Because you can use the fishing basket 
um, to tame some animals on aberration. But the, the trilobite's not one of them. Trilobites can't be tamed. None of the small fish can be tamed. Um, one, two, three, four. So we're almost there to the 500 wood. And there. We almost got it. Oh my gosh. He just needs seven more. There we go. So there's the seven wood. And I thought that was going to possibly happen. How over encumbered are we in the grand scheme of great googly moogly? We're just going to walk on, guys. Actually, hold up. How, how much weight can you carry? You can carry a little bit of weight. So take my gear. Because this is... The Pegomastix has like no redeeming qualities in general for PvE except for one. It halves what it's carrying for weight. Still not there. Ah, okay. Oh, we don't need this lance. That lance is, is silly. It doesn't work. We hoped it did, but it doesn't. And we can always rebuild that stuff. Nope, ain't gonna work. All right, so let's just, let's just grab our two packages and just walk. Hey, Cherry. Bird friend has woken you up early. Well, that's what bird friends are for, right? You are a true dawn. And you need to die, like, all sorts of death. And you need to die quickly, too. All sorts of death. Ha. We had berries. We had berries, guys. We had stem berries. I'm dehydrated. But I'm okay. Because I did not go unconscious and die. I was having flashbacks. To when I was playing with Digrat earlier today. We were attacking Eurypteids. And it took us down. Oh, did I, did I hit you, RG? Uh, a little bit, yeah. He's eating some millet, and it's so cute. Ah, you know, millet's one of those things. Oh, is this a blue parrot? Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. What level is he? Level 9... Look at it, dudes and dudettes. It's just... It's so blue. Go unconscious, please. Awesome, awesome. He went down. Can you tame it? Is that how that works? Yes. It's exactly how that works. You knock them unconscious, and then you give them food, and then they eat food, and then you protect them from things. It's like a Smurf dino. I love them. These things are so awesome. Uh, kind of similar, Cherry, actually. Not exactly Pokeballs. Uh, there is a mod for that, though.
I, I think I hear a dig rat moving around. Yep. If she was all the way awake, I think she's kind of sleepwalking a bit. Yeah, she just she moved. She didn't even wave, so she's she's not all the way awake, guys. She's got up, moved around, went back to bed. Yeah, no pokeballs, uh, but there is a mod for it. Um, the pokeball mod is kind of weird because it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything for capturing the dinos. Um, so you have to actually knock them out and you have to tame them and do all that stuff still. But what the what the Pokemon or the Pokeball mod does is it when you got them tamed, you're able to put them in the Pokeball for transport. Oh, there's a couple turtles on me. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we can't have this. We gotta really skewer this thing here. Ah. Uh, oh, well. Easy come, easy go, guys. That's the way Ark works. Our blueberry's gone. mechanic for taming wouldn't work quite well with pokeballs yeah it's it's a it's there is a pokemon not a pokeball but a pokemon mod which is quite considerably more spear of the popcorn chicken there we go yeah we we knew better than to it. Hello, hello. All right, now this water is slightly dangerous because usually right over there is either a whole bunch of saber tooth salmon, a whole bunch of piranha, or on especially pleasant days, we wind up getting them from both sides. And uh, also get jellyfish. Uh, and the jellyfish are just all sorts of horrible. We should have, like, you know, chopped up the trees a little bit closer, but we weren't really thinking about it. That was our last. That was the last trank arrow we had. So let's switch out to just regular arrows in case we want to shoot stuff for the sake of shooting things. Like that looks like an ichthyornis. We definitely want to kill that because we hate those things with a passion. Well, ichthyornis won't start now. Won't be none. All right. And woof. A little bitty shoulder rat in my And we almost we almost had some pretty uh pretty impressive teams for the day. But I gotta admit, I, I really like the Tyrannosaurus we, we tamed today. And that, that's why we're not, have a lot of things with the passion, like Bridget. <laughs> I've not played um, Overwatch since they added both Bridget and the hamster. Um, so when I actually get back to playing Overwatch one of these days, I'm gonna be in for a surprise.
get rid of those crosshairs, just go back to our pike. Bid, uh, Hamon is countered by everything, and Bridget can 1v1 a Reinhardt and win. Okay, one needs a buff, one needs a nerf. Um, it's weird that Hamon is is that underpowered, because usually brand new characters are extremely overpowered. Um, as for 1v1-ing a Reinhardt, I, something needs to be able to 1v1 a Reinhardt. I, uh, and I got news for you. My, my Orisa game is pretty good. And I can occasionally stave off a of Reinhardt, but I can't 1v1 it, that's for certain. All right. Oh, but, but Cherry, who's who's your main, though? Who's your main? So you're you're Sombra, and didn't they didn't they kind of nerf her pretty bad lately too? So you you might be a little salty because of the Sombra nerfs. It was a, it was a buff, okay, because I thought it was a nerf with the way they, they everybody was crying about it. But yeah, you can one if you want to rhyme with somber. Yeah, I, Arissa, I'm not good at with that. That's for certain. All right, so we need. We're gonna put our barrel on right on one of these two taps. Yeah, which one has that's got the water spouts. So we're gonna put it right there. So we just gonna go make it. See, because I remember you were one of the complainers. You said that they were ruining your Sombra. See, it'll it'll get there. It'll get where you need it to be eventually. Akatina paste, which means you are full of paste. Yep, okay. All right, so we need all the wood. We need this this barrel. Uh, is that actually made in smithy? Okay, so we need all the wood in the smithy. All right, so let's go up here. Let's why whistle? Why not whistle? Right? Ah, uh, need more, huh? It is, it is. PTR is different for a lot of reasons, because everyone's trying to deal with the new characters. They're trying to play all the other stuff. So we still got plenty of cake on the snail. Alright, and we need this to go in the smithy. Come on, Mag. Get your head in the game. Alright. And oh, not gonna be moving with that much apparently. All right, so there's Win, and where's D? There's D. There's the other half of the Windy Twins. Ah, uh, Bird Friend fell asleep while playing with Bell. Oh. Ah, that's, that's, that's what bird friends are for. Alright, so. We just need to bring in 200 more wood. And see, this is where if you were doing mods, S plus would be a little bit um, expected. Because you'd be able to just teleport the wood here. And it doesn't really unbalance the game 100%. Because all it's doing is just speeding this up.
So we need 80 metal. We don't got 80 metal. Not there at least. I don't believe we had it in here. Oh, wait, wait. We got 11 metal. Hmm. I don't like doing what I'm about to do. But when you're impatient, you do silly things. All right, we gotta pull this out. We're gonna put that in there. That in there. Those in there. We're gonna turn this on. else really metal that we can get rid of that really didn't provide us what we were hoping to get so yuck all right so we're gonna one we need to get rid of all this thatch we ain't gonna use all this thatch so all the thatch oh my gosh anything else that's metal we can grind out no we got some raw metal that we can bring over here We got some metal ingots we can bring over there. We need 80. We're so close. All right, so we need to go find us some metal, right? Because I don't think we have any metal ingots anywhere else. Yeah, we got obsidian. Oh, we got some stuff we can grind in miscellaneous box. I think it's going to be worth it, though, but we'll, we'll try. Let's see here. Where are we at? Where are we at? Are we, are we at 80? We're at 85. Hey, there we go. So now we just need the cementing paste. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So if you're impatient, if you're a single player, if you do not have a whole entire guild, that would basically put you in a bad spot. That is a way you can go about getting really fast metal. Henrietta, we need you to move. You did not move. Over this way. Uh, that's not who I was trying to whistle. Any other given Sunday, we'd absolutely be trying to get her to whistle. All right. All right, so it says that this is obstructed. It's not anymore, guys. So this is our brew barrel. So brew requires stuff. Um, and it's, it's really interesting the way it works. Because it requires 40 thatch and 50 berries and one water. Or requires this. So actually... I bet all that thatch is gone. Yep. And all that thatch is gone. Okay. That's okay. So we're going to grab... It takes 40 thatch and 50 berries. So for every 400 thatch, you need 500 berries. So 
So we're gonna put a little bit more than that because these are these. It's a, it's a slow cooking process, for starters. And I'm not just saying that because we are running man right now. Oh my gosh, champions of fire. Do 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 do. So you'll notice it fills the whole thing, basically. And this is the way it really should be. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. If you're playing single player, beer is going to be horrible. 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 It takes six hours per serving of beer. And for the Calitherium, it only tames with beer. And we need five beer to tame level one. Five jars of beer. Uh, you do need a spot for a water jar. Um, once this actually turns into beer to liquid McAdoo, uh, it'll actually empty the inventory out. So you actually put the water jar in and it actually fills the jar up with it. So you don't have to have it in there while it brews. Um, so for us to tame a level 1 Thylacolia or Caratherium, my computer really can't be used actively with me being on here for 30 hours. Uh, you seen with the question of if I play RP. Uh, no, this is single player. I don't do the roleplay servers because they really don't interest me. Um, roleplay servers are generally for, from what I found, a bunch of really close friends to totally be jerks to everybody else. Um, usually you have one click that controls the whole server, and they are the alpha tribe, and because it's an RP setup on the server no one else has a chance um and if you think you have a chance all of a sudden you're banned and that's not a single server experience that is multiple server experience um but yeah so for 30 hours and i'm not making this up for 30 hours i'm gonna have to sit back and let this go but the other option the other possible option is for me to make multiple beer barrels and line them down. Now, that's going to take a lot of metal. It's going to take a lot of wood. It's going to take some, you know, some thatch and berries. Um, so, you know, it's needed. It's needed uh, for, for the 100% complete that we're going to do. But I'm just letting you know, here we are on... I, I forget the episode number because we didn't even look back and, and episode title this one. But at three hours a week of playing this game, uh, because of our stream schedule being what it is now, if I don't actually do anything in the background like I had been, we're looking... And I wish I was making this up. But we're looking at ten weeks of solo playtime to make the beer we need to tame a level one. And realistically, for the Calitheriums, because we need two of them, right? Uh, level 30 takes 11. It's not, it's a, it's a huge jump. It's, it's not like the other graduated jumps. So we're going to be making some beer barrels off stream and we're going to let that go up. And, but yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll come back to that. But yeah, guys, that's, that is, that's the issue with this. It really is. It really is. And on, even on the server that we're playing, we're, Digger and I are needing some more beer barrels because of what this does. I'm going to have to make some beer some beer barrels. I'm actually going to do that in our um, our barn. I'm going to actually make a, a whole last list of them. But yeah, guys, this has been uh, Mag vs. Wild. We have been playing for the last three hours. We, uh, we accomplished some pretty good stuff. We got a Megalodon, 
two Ichthy Ornus is tamed. We made some kibble. We showed you the difference between the cooking um, pot and the cooking uh, apparatus. We tamed the bluest Tyrannosaurus Rex. I mean, look at this. This guy could camouflage in active working water pipes if he wasn't so 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 big. Um, I mean, the the texture on the pipe almost matches his spots even. And he is probably the one of the reasons why, as the admin of the private server we have for the community, I, I may consider figuring out what we got to do to upload dinos to it. And we may have like a, a dino upload day or something. Because, wow, um, if he survives the boss encounter, I, uh, and look, I mean, he just, he is just so, well, until he, until he tried to assassinate me with that, he was, he's pretty awesome. But yeah, water pipe source, you got it, you got it, Cherry. Well, guys, this has been fun. Uh, in two hours, we have Trial Tuesday coming up, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be playing a game on this channel that I've never streamed before and I've never played before. So look forward to seeing you guys then. Until then, I'm going to have a good little break. I'm going to get me some uh, some dinner because I work nights. This is my dinner time. And I'm going to have me some, uh, some good TV watching in a little bit. And then, uh, you know, I'm going to get back. But you all out there, Turtle Club, have a good evening, good lunch, good dinner, good breakfast, good, uh, you know, have a good Tuesday, you know. Uh, but, yeah, guys, have a good one, whatever you're doing. And thanks for watching, Turtle Club. Take care.